good morning and welcome to Rocket Travels and welcome to Tipawan. Uh, Tipawan is a village on Canal Road in Hua Hin uh, where I live and it is currently rush hour. Now this is rush hour in my village. This is uh, the junction where it joins the main road. So the main village is uh, up there and as you can see it is nice and quiet and peaceful but it does get busy around this junction so uh, today we're just gonna have a bit of fun if you've not watched my channel before I tend to just uh, I literally just wake up and go uh, right let's go out and do something think of something to do think of something to vlog on and um, hopefully we we'll get some content for you guys and uh, have a bit of fun and have a bit of a jolly so today we're on with Beastie Beastie is my mountain bike uh, not been out on it too much as much as I um, hoped uh, basically because I've had a problem with my hands an old snowboarding injury uh, but it's uh, the swelling's gone down and it's a lot better so uh, yeah Beastie Beastie's my bike man got to be careful I don't get run over right there's Beastie uh, a few new additions to Beastie I now have a luggage rack I have a lock so nobody uh, takes her away from me um, I do have plans to get some panniers and some other luggage and to hit the highway uh, basically head south uh, but for the next few weeks it's not going to happen uh, life in Thailand has just slowed down to a crawl a snail's pace uh, why? Um, I'm still settling in um, I can't commit to a long trip time wise uh, because I do have to in a few weeks time go back to the UK for a short short visit so I can't commit to a long term long time um, road trip or go anywhere uh, fly anywhere so uh, I'm grounded in Hua Hin it's not so bad there's plenty to see plenty to do get up in the morning go and do your daily routine stuff uh, today is Monday uh, if you watch my channel uh, I'm on a budget 10,000 baht a week and it starts on a Monday so uh, I get go to the uh, cash point today get my 10,000 baht out for the week and uh, as for the budget yes I am sticking to it uh, I just looked at my wallet I got 400 baht left from last week pretty much every week I've got like anything from 1700 to 400 uh, I think the lowest I've had left over the last uh, month is 80 baht but we're sticking within it and that's buying loads of extra stuff as well you know uh, bills that unexpected bills I might do a vlog or a, a, a proper intense uh, look at my budget for you guys that are interested at some stage but for today we're gonna have a little jolly down Canal Road on Beastie so uh, we're gonna go down the quiet roads uh, there is a back road uh, to Canal Road. We're going to have a little little trip down there and see what we can find, see what we can do. Uh, we have a trip to the bakery and I uh, might get some street food for breakfast. Not too sure. Uh, but hey-ho, let's go. Okay, Monday morning in Hua Hin. I'll try and say Hua Hin uh, because I do say Hua Hin. I don't know why. And some people say Hua Hin. So I try and say the word in between, so Wahin. So it's a compromise, guys. Uh, <laughs> there's opinions on both sides of the pronunciation. Anyway, good morning, Mr. Doggy. <laughs> so this is my little route to the bakery in the morning. Uh, the quiet side. Uh, to the left of you runs the canal. Now... <laughs> If you, if you live in the UK or in some parts of Europe, a canal does not look like that. But uh, it's called a canal. It does have uh, water running through it. Or maybe not running, but it has water in it. But it does. It's very, very overgrown. Uh, very overgrown. There are... A, a canal road stretches uh, for quite a few miles. How far I do not know is it it's a good good distance but uh, around the back of um, Canal Road you have lots and lots of little villages little soys 
The area we're in now is uh, more going into town. Uh, the further you go out of town, uh, the more and more peaceful and more tranquil it gets. It's uh, rush hour at the moment, just coming up to 8 o'clock in the morning. There is a little place here that does food in the mornings. Now we get run over. Let's go and have a look. Go and see what they've got on offer. Oh, they have some chicken, I think. We do like our chicken and pork. this one chicken breast thank you it's breakfast time I've only gone about five minutes but it's the way it rolls uh, we're totally winging it today so for breakfast this morning <laughs> I'm always having chicken fried chicken it's easy a uh, big lump of uh, fried chicken 25 baht and uh, if you watch my channel it's all a bit repetitive isn't it really uh, didu for breakfast didu 10 baht chicken 25 so breakfast 35 baht um, why don't I go and sit in a nice restaurant and have a full English or like a, a big posh nosh up? Um, I'm on a budget and the way my thinking is I've got to get through eight years of living in Thailand until I get my pension. So I'm basically over here on rental income and um, my savings. So what I've done is I've divided my savings into eight years and that's where I get my budget. I do have a big, big safety net in case something goes wrong. All my rent, my bills, and my uh, household foods, uh, stuff for the boss, etc., are paid out of my rental income. So I give myself every Monday morning 10,000 baht and I survive on it. But I do eat a lot of street food, a lot of fried chicken, fried pork, belly, and stuff. I do have like the odd stir fry street food and I do go out to restaurants occasionally. Um, besides that, I cook at home because it's convenient. Um, every time you seem to go out in Thailand, you seem to spend money. Um, it's just the way it is, it's what your eyes see. You see something shiny, you buy it. Anyway, the budget's working. Uh, the method in the madness is uh, to start off uh, my retirement in Thailand slowly. So I'm gonna to stick to a minimum budget uh, for maybe two years, maybe even three, uh, until my fine, I'm comfortable my finances are there and I am not gonna be in that position where I'm running out of money and I'm going back to the UK because I failed and I overspent, um, overspending unnecessary. Uh, I think a lot of people come to Thailand and it's cheap, so you, but you end up spending more because it's so cheap, you're just spending all the time. You've got to have willpower. I seem to have the willpower. I have the power. Uh, so I've been sticking to the budget and I've been having a good time. I've done like recently trips to uh, national parks. Uh, I had a visa run. Uh, we've got a trip to Isan coming up. Uh, so we're doing plenty of things. I've got my, my mountain bike now so I can go out. So there's obviously no cost there riding around on the bike. Uh, long term, I'm not too sure how my uh, budget's going to be once I start travelling. But for the moment, everything's super cool. I'm super happy and that's the main thing. But yeah, we're practising the real deal. So uh, let's uh, crack on with breakfast. Um, like I said, I'm winging today's vlog. So it's going to be a bit about my budget bit of fun see what we can go and see and eat some chicken mmm wow that is really nice have you noticed I have a new hat and new shades hope you all approve <laughs> I always wear the same hat all the time. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new hat. Camouflage for the jungle trekking. Anyway, we're gonna stop up here and hopefully get some uh, views of the canal. There's actually some wildlife up here. There are some birds.
Okay, uh, important announcement in Hua Hin. We have a new bus service and it's based on Canal Road. Uh, I'm actually thinking investing uh, in this business. Uh, it looks absolutely superb. Uh, I'm not too sure the route or destination uh, this bus is going to be on. But um, yeah, let's go and check it out. The bus is here. Uh, it's just one bus at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, one bus today, maybe two buses tomorrow. So let me go and show you uh, the new bus service. There you go. Look at that. Destination nowhere. What a cool bus. <laughs> I wonder where that used to go. Imagine all the people on there years and years ago. We're going to go on it in a minute. There's even like a little back door. And uh, yeah, check it out. <laughs> it is well overgrown inside, man. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Let's go and have a look at the back end of the bus. Buddy cab. Uh, a little bit of uh, artwork on the back. Check it out. Mr. Moo, little pig on the back. Beautiful. <laughs> Shall we go inside? It's urban exploring with a new new twist. <laughs> I'll get a job driving this. Check this out, man. The old doors, man, look. Well jammed open. Oh, let's go in and have a look. No one's shouted at me yet. Wow, check this out, man. Wow. Look at this, man. That ain't going nowhere, is it? There's dogs barking. <laughs> Whoa, check this bus out, man. Wow. Look at this. This ain't been sat on for a long time, man. We've got a TV up there, look. Beautiful. <laughs> Tickets, please. If you haven't got a ticket, you're getting chucked off the bus in big styly. There's the engine down there, look. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa, super cool, man. Board. tickets please where would you like to go Bangkok no problem 20 baht I take you all the way there non-stop no mess no fuss actually the gear the gear still works <laughs> put it into gear and off we go do you reckon it's still got a horn probably not no the horn don't work okay so it's a little bit <laughs> yeah a little bit of a abandoned vehicle for you on Canal Road. Uh, let's go and see what else we can find on Canal Road. <laughs> Somebody coming. Oh man, I can see someone coming I'm gonna get told off. <laughs> yeah, someone cruising around man. Maybe he'll just go past. Just sit here and wait and see. Is he gonna go? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Never know with these places, do you? Oh. Right, let's get off. Oh, man. <laughs> Talk's going mad now. <laughs> and the people you've got to be worried about, it's the bloody dogs. <laughs> there you go, look. Thumbnail. New bus service. Let's go. <laughs> right, let's crack on. On Canal Road, we have this beautiful, beautiful night market. It's on a Tuesday. Uh, as far as I know, it's on a Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, on different days of the week. Uh, I did a vlog on this a few vlogs ago. <laughs> so if you look at it now, uh, yeah. But it's uh, well worth coming down here uh, um, on a Tuesday. It is buzzing. It doesn't look like this. It is full on. It's a shame it's just once a week. I think it's once a week from what I can gather. I might be wrong. Um, but since I've been living in uh, Hua Hin, 
Uh, it does seem to be a Tuesday. Oh, where are we going? Whoa. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> People looking at me strangely, cycling around an empty market with my GoPro. Yeah, yeah, these, well, this is where all the, the food and vegetable was. Vegetables the other way. Oh, man. There you go, look. Wouldn't be cycling through here tomorrow night. Yes. It's all rock and roll. Oh no, Beastie is in trouble. No cycling. Okay, if you live in Huahin or visit in Huahin and you want to go to uh, the local bakery, then I can highly recommend this place behind me. There are a few other bakeries in uh, in town, but they tend to be a little bit more, what's the word, upmarket, posh, expensive, and uh, basically they cost more. This place, uh, not it's Thai owned, I think, uh, not 100% sure there. It's just off Canal Road as you head into town. Um, links, I don't know. I don't think it's going to have a link. It's not that kind of establishment. Uh, but if anyone wants to know where it is, uh, send me a message, make a comment, I'll see if I can direct you. But uh, we're going in for some bread uh, to take home. Super cool. There you go. This is the bakery. They do uh, Italian bread, farmer bread, uh, rye bread, sour bread, croissants, danishes, pies, pastries, cakes, fresh coffee and beverages. So yeah, you'll sport the choice and the quality of the bread is absolutely superb. So uh, let's go and get me out. I'm not going to film inside. Uh, some guy's just like shook his head at me. Some Falang guy. So uh, I'm not going to go and antagonise people. Some people, eh? Uh, I do understand why people don't want to be on camera. That's why I tend not to chuck it in people's faces unless they're smiling and engaging with me. Anyway, that's my yammer. Let's go get some bread. Beastie. Be a good girl and stay. Do not move. Right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start the start halfway through the vlog. Does that make sense? So uh, yeah, this is the the town end of Canal Road. So this is basically where it starts. Uh, up there you have uh, the railway station, uh, the wet market. Up there, turn left. And yeah, they've built this lovely, lovely uh, walkway. Uh, pedestrianised cycling route along Canal Road. Unfortunately, it doesn't go too far. It doesn't go as far as my village. Uh, you can cycle along the track, uh, but last time I tried cycling this route along the grass track, I got two punctures. Uh, there's some really, really thorny uh, bushes. The, the thorns are on the ground loose. So uh, we're going to make the most of this little cycle path walkway good for exercise lots of people exercise here in the morning see people walking running cycling superb and big bonus there's nobody here <laughs> i do like my space big crowds they're all right i do vlog around big crowds sometimes but I, prefer, I prefer peace and tranquility i think also visually you guys can see uh, the ambience more you know, you can see yourself walking along there in the morning or the evening, getting your exercise. Uh, yeah, all good, all good. I want to ride my bicycle. Who sung that song? <laughs> I should introduce a new song to my channel every time I vlog. So, um, woo, check the birds out. The water in the canal is black. Uh, it's not good at all. But uh, it tends to have some uh, some bird life and um, aquatic aquatic life. Um, yeah, there's life in the canal. But you're not going to be taking your boat down there. Check out this big bird. See if he'll fly. Go on, mate. You go in. No. Nope. <laughs> Right, let's get out of the town end and into the village end. Time-wise, uh, 
um, I might, by the time I've done this vlog, it might be time to have breakfast in Rafferty's. Treat myself, because I've got money left over from the budget. I mean, you don't have to spend it, but... Uh, ah. Breakfast in Rafferty's will cost you 120 baht for a baht buster. It's sufficient. It's not a big, big breakfast, but it's good. It's very popular. Uh, so we might check that out. We'll see. We'll see where this vlog takes me. Winging it big time today. <laughs> Random rants. Random vlog. It's quite nice down here. Rush hour's finished. Uh, it's all quiet and down now. Normally uh, anywhere in uh, anywhere in any town, any major place in Thailand, um, between sort of seven and nine and three and six in the afternoon is busy. We do avoid uh, central old town uh, Hua Hin in, in the early evenings. It is terrible for the traffic. Um, so if you're going shopping out and about, uh, choose your times carefully. All this vlogging and it's hot I need a smoothie <laughs> so no Chang this morning obviously and uh, this lovely young lady is gonna make me a blueberry smoothie a blueberry smoothie will cost 20 baht super cool little place it's got a uh, hello kitty hello kitty yeah hello kitty <laughs> uh, beautiful little Beautiful little uh, roadside little uh, you get cold drinks here. Uh, all sorts of all sorts of things open from nine till five. Super cool. So uh, I'm going to enjoy my my uh, blueberry smoothie. <laughs> Struggling with my words again. Blimey. Ding ding. Round two. Uh, fast forward. Um, I kind of abandoned me my, uh, my vlog. Um, and I've restarted. Uh, the reason I've restarted, if you look behind me, the canal up this end is completely different to the area downtown. Now I've done a little bit of research while I sat having me uh, blueberry soda, and uh, there is a massive um, clearance job operation uh, on on the go. Uh, I have noticed it, noticed uh, a little bit of work, but uh, not to the extent of uh, what what is going on. Uh, so uh, yeah, they're basically clearing the, the clearing clearing the canal. I've come down like a few days later because I thought well, I'll wait rather than show uh, everybody what the canal was like. I'll show you what it's like now. So there you go. It has been clear cleared. They've had the diggers in there. They've dug, a, dug all the uh, plants, water plants out. The birds have gone. The birds have done a runner. There's the odd one floating around. But yeah, they've uh, cleared it all. Wiped it out, man. And um, I've had a little scoot around. I'm not gonna scoot the whole canal because the whole canal is a very, uh, very long distance. Um, but this will give you an idea of uh, what's, what's gone on. Yeah, they've had the diggers in. Poor old birds. Don't know what to do with them, Charles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, Canal Road. Interesting developments. Anyway, I'm popping up to one of the villages called Bo Phi, and I'm going to end my um, vlog there. I'm going to uh, Harry's Bar. I've been there once before. It's like a little expat bar in uh, one of the other villages. Uh, do some nice food, mix, a bit of Thai. Uh, a bit of western, a uh, bit of a mix. They've got a swimming pool there as well, which apparently, as long as you're a paying guest, like uh, food and drinks, you can use the pool. Um, check it out. Harry's, I'll put it in the description. Um, I recommend it already. I've been there. It's not the first time I've been there. Uh, but I'm going to go pop up there, 
have a cheeky chang because uh, it is hot uh, Thailand is hot at the moment so a uh, nice cool cheeky chang and uh, do me outro up there see you in a bit okay we are at the village of Bofai I think that's how you say it and uh, Harry's bar should be up here if I haven't gone past it <laughs> probably have I really but I've been daydreaming a bit um, this is going to be uh, a funny old vlog lots of little bars little restaurants little hole in the walls laundry it's a nice place uh, I've only ever been here once before it's, it's uh, 10 minutes on my bike from uh, Tipawan uh, it's a place I should really come and explore a bit more lovely houses and gardens uh, there's not as much trash <laughs> floating around there is in Tipawan it's one downside of where I live there's a big trash problem so where's Harry? okay I can see Harry's on the horizon right there's a motorbike coming I'm going to see if I can uh, time this so I can just scoot straight in Harry's restaurant and bar they do accommodation they have a swimming pool all sorts of stuff going on Hiya. Hiya. All right. all good thank you okay we are at Harry's bar and I have got myself a nice cool refreshing mousse mousse cider it's very nice actually it's a bit sweet this is Harry's bar in Bofi village uh, lovely little seating areas uh, like I said before they do uh, got a superb menu and um, there's not many people here at the moment they have pool uh, they do pizzas burgers they even have a parking spot for Beastie that is Beastie's little spot here in the shade so shady you can't see her and uh, they do have a swimming pool um, I'm gonna check it out with the boss uh, the boss is there Harry <laughs> but yeah there's a swimming pool so a really really nicely uh, maintained swimming pool go for a nice cool dip and uh, they have accommodation um, they do have a website if you go to their website they do monthly and nightly uh, rentals here so all the accommodation is up there superb anyway this vlog isn't about Harry's Bar <laughs> this is my outro so from Harry's Bar in Hua Hin with my moose from Rocket Travels over and out happy days